Hey, what's up guys? Node Investor here. Want to bring a quick update on these markets. We're going to be talking Bitcoin, looking at the charts for Ripple and Litecoin as well. Looking at the coin market cap here, you can see the big sell off that we had over the last 24 hours. Bitcoin down 3%, Ethereum down 10%, Ripple down 12, almost 13% in the last 24 hours a big sell-off here we saw late uh, my time yesterday going into the close it was setting up like a big bear flag and sure enough we saw the big rollover and so i'll go over that and we'll be looking at some of these daily levels to be keeping an eye on here but no doubt to the big sell-off a lot of profit taking and the cascade lower following the run-up we saw late last week my last video i did was on friday after a ripple looked like it had topped and sure enough that was the near-term top we continued lower over the weekend kind of sideways choppy action and then yesterday the big selling continued and so where do we go from here let's take a look at the charts here looking at bitcoin i want to just show you guys a couple of levels that i've been watching here we had the big run up late last week and we had a fake breakout or not a fake breakout but a false breakout attempt and look where it hit went right to that 6800 level couldn't close above it and quickly pulled back and that was the first price resistance that i had been watching here if i scroll back a little bit i was looking at the 6800 level as this most recent wick down there at the lows following that big sell-off and you can see here that that's where the selling pressure showed up right at that point there you guys know my other target above that was right around that 6900 that was the 60 the 618 retracement level on a bounce we came close but it looks like that stalled right around that 6800 and then over the weekend just kind of choppy action we started to pull back now on this initial pullback it didn't look too bad yet because it was still above this support here and it was also holding the 10 ema on the daily as well as holding this 382 fib level and so i bought the dip initially on this retracement right back to here made for a good risk reward entry because it was very easy to put a tight stop just below that level and I thought if this is going to be a continuation of this little uptrend we've seen here over the last couple of days, this is where you buy the dip, right at support, right at a retracement level, right at the 10 EMA and the daily. And so once it started to push higher and look like you wanted to hold that level, I, met, I entered a small position there and then just was watching it throughout the day and it just started to chop around, couldn't get above this most recent resistance. So the bounce didn't really have a lot of teeth to it so i wasn't liking the way it was setting up on top of that as the bounce continued it really started to look more like a bear flag was setting up right below this resistance here and the range was starting to tighten up not a lot of follow through and so i got out of the position there i told the group i said i'm not liking this it's looking like a bear flag went back into cash um, would have been a nice short somebody was asking me hey, what looks good here i said eth looks like a good short and sure enough, as soon as it broke that trend line, you can see that trend here, the selling really continued uh, and it really accelerated to the downside. We saw some climactic selling action here near the lows. And since then, it's just kind of been chopping around, very choppy range here over the last couple of hours. This is the one hour chart we're looking at right now, but still not looking bullish. Now it's right back at the 618 level. And so if we zoom out to the daily chart here, you can see that this pullback basically has retraced this entire move that we saw late last week and is right back at the 618, but it's not looking strong. That's a little bit too deep for bulls comfort. It would have been much stronger pullback had it paused at the 382 level right around that 6560 level and then started to resume its uptrend. At that point, it was still looking like a little bit of a bull flag and had a shot at retesting the highs. Once it broke below that, that really caused some damage to this chart. Now it looks like it's just rolling over. Volume has been extreme to the upside. There's still quite a few hours left on this current daily candle, so it could well exceed yesterday's, which would be setting a bad pattern. But you can see once we broke below this candle here we're now below that low which was right around that 6480 level that really just undercut this breakout that was strong volume on that breakout and now it's rolling over and so that double bottom breakout looks like a failed breakout attempt at this point so leaning in favor of the bears again the momentum is certainly not in favor of the bulls today i'm just going to be watching the charts looking for potential bounces and may set up for more short entries and so on the upside first resistance is going to be around that 6480 level the 10 ema is approaching that on that four hour chart if it continues higher then you're going to find some resistance going into the level that broke down yesterday 
right around 65.50. At that point, that looks like if it bounces from here, that's where I would expect to see the bounce start to fizzle out. And then we'll have to see if we test, make a double bottom. If not, if it breaks up below these most recent lows that we're seeing here over the last couple of hours, then the next stop down is right around that 62.75 level. And then, of course, ultimately, the level everyone's been watching, 6100 has been the most recent support. And then below that, 6K psychological mark. So going to be real interesting going into the next couple of weeks. This weekly chart just continues to tighten up and you can see here the last couple of weeks just very narrow range starting to get uh, a little bit interesting here as prices are looking for the next directional move. I think everyone's watching this big picture setup. I think right now that's really the thing to be watching is more the big picture. I mean there's you know there's some small trading opportunities to be had uh, you know within the day trading space and you know small moves but they're not massive moves we haven't been seeing these big rallies these multi-week rallies like we've seen in the past i mean these rallies are getting smaller and smaller and so here we are coming to a little bit of a head i expect that we're going to break out of this pattern one way or the other up or down going into october or early october so that's what i'm going to be watching out for i am not going to pretend to know which way this goes it could absolutely break out either way and so until that happens i'm going to just take it one day at a time and uh, remain cautious over the big picture. Now looking at the Bitcoin shorts, we did see the Bitcoin shorts pull back quite a bit. We were right at elevated levels again, historically high levels, and you can see over the last several days, there's been a pretty decent decline in the Bitcoin shorts, but it didn't really materialize into you know a big short squeeze or anything. You're just seeing a lot of covering here as the prices have pulled back a little bit. And so just something to keep an eye on here. We're not quite at extreme levels, a little bit of a middle ground. So I'm gonna pay less attention to this now. I usually just watch this as it starts to hit these extremes because it could set up for potential short squeezes. But right now it's kind of middle ground. You're seeing a lot of short covering there on that end. Same picture on the Ethereum shorts. There was a big short squeeze late last week. And since then you've actually seen the shorts on Ethereum rising again. So let's take a look at the Ripple chart. So Ripple had that massive move late last week, peaking very briefly right around that 80 cent mark and very quickly pulled back. During my last video, we were already in pullback mode. I expected to see some more downside. And sure enough, yesterday we saw that. And right now it's pausing right at the daily 10 EMA in and around that 44, 45 cent mark. But is that the end? Is it finished or will it bounce from here and see another leg higher? Looking at the fib retracement levels, you can see that's already undercut the 618 level. So it's been a pretty deep pullback and it's been a very quick pullback. Not surprising when you see these massive moves look very climactic. Uh, and then you can see when going to the shorter term time frames, you know, the massive volume that shows up near the top of the move, that's usually a telltale sign that the move is nearing the end, at least due for a pause, but usually more of a correction. We're seeing that right now. And so right now the levels to be watching, if this most recent low doesn't hold, that's going back to this last base. So you want to see that 44 cent mark hold, but below that, not a lot of support until you get back down to around 37, 38 cents. So those are the two levels I'm looking out for in near term. Keep in mind, it is at the daily 10 EMA. And so potentially you may see another bounce. And what you don't want to see if you're bullish on Ripple is a double top, because then that will set a very big top in place on the way down. And one more I want to keep an eye on here is Litecoin. Now, this chart doesn't look very exciting, I'll admit, but I'm watching this for a couple of levels. If I zoom in here to the four-hour chart, Litecoin was leading BTC here earlier. And so very near term, I'm watching this. This is pulling right back to support here. So I'm going to be watching this four-hour chart to see if it sets up a potential double bottom on this four-hour chart. But there's also a little bit of a rising trend that is happening here as these lower or these higher lows are start to build momentum here and so you can see there's a little confluence of support here in and around that 54 to 55 dollar zone and so i'm going to be watching to see how it acts in and around here to see if the support starts to show up and if it can begin to rally again the other chart i'm watching here on litecoin is the daily chart of litecoin bitcoin now over the last couple of weeks it's been putting in a little bit of a range here, but the level to be keeping an eye on is right around that 9,400 Satoshi level. So I'm gonna be watching that. If it can break out of this range, then you may begin to see some pretty good outperformance on Litecoin versus Bitcoin. Now looking at, just zooming out, you can see just how far this has underperformed BTC after putting in a little bit of a top here in May. Litecoin has just been on a big slide 
versus Bitcoin. And so the confluence of that support showing up potentially on that USDT pair, if BTC can get going, of course, then I'm going to be watching to see if Litecoin can outperform on the upside. So something to keep an eye on here over the next couple of weeks. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Looks like BTC is just continuing its pattern of big pullback, bouncing, lower high, another pullback, lower high. And this most recent bounce has been the smallest in the last several months. And so for now, it's just a little bit of a patient game for me, just waiting to see what the next move is. Right now, as far as trading goes, I'm going to be looking for little bounces to potentially short into. But until I see some strong buying volume come back again, got to remain cautious. Momentum is in favor of the sellers right now in the very near term. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you being here. Until next time, take care, everyone.